Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Monday Must Have. So today I'll be trying out and giving you my first impressions review of the iHeart Revolution Donut Tray. So if you'd like to hear what came in it, the price, and see a look, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget beauty. So it can be a product review, a tutorial, an unboxing, it really does depend on the day of the week, so make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page, that way you can come back and watch whenever you would like to. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I have a new channel, it's called Gourmet on a Budget. It's all about budget food, I will link it down below for you, and I upload on that one seven days a week as well. So, I did pick this up um, on Ulta's website, I got a Ulta gift card for the holidays, and so I did pick this up. It was $18, it was originally $36, and I also got 20% off, so I got a really good deal on this. Um, really cute packaging, it does come in like a donut box, which I think is adorable. Comes with five um, little pallets, and then this one right here is just um, a little round um, of triangle makeup sponges but you do get five little palettes. Two eyeshadow palettes, a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush duo, so I think that's really cute. Okay, so it, um, the packaging is absolutely adorable. It's like spongy, okay, and it does look like a donut. It has like, sp like glitter sprinkles on it. Super, super cute. So this is the peanut butter and jelly um, eyeshadow little thing, and it does come with a full-size mirror. But those are some beautiful shades. Really, really pretty. And then, sorry, I'm trying to find the other eyeshadow palette for you. Okay, and then the other eyeshadow palette is um, Chocolate Caramel. Once again, really beautiful, kind of neutral shades. Gorgeous. Getting all these out. Okay, so. This is the Cinnamon Sugar Bronzer. Really beautiful warm bronzer. Once again, full size mirror. And like all the donuts look different with different like coloring and uh, glitter sprinkles. So really, really cute. This is the Pink Frosting Blush Duo. And then this is the Vanilla Frosting Highlighter. So, as you can see, um, I already have foundation, powder, concealer, brows, I have all that done. But I'm excited to try all these face products and eyeshadows. So, I think I am going to use the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette because purples are usually a little bit harder for companies to make. So. I want to go ahead and try this one out. I might mix the two because I don't think there's any mattes in that peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I'm going to have to mix because this one does have a matte shade. So I'm going to be trying both eyeshadow palettes. So, okay, my eyes are primed as well. So I'm going to dip into the chocolate caramel. I'm going to be dipping into this shade right here. Not powdery. Oh, I have a mirror right here. Okay, the mirrors are nice. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll, you know, I did watch Zabrina's um, review of these little eyeshadow palettes, and she didn't like them. Um, she said they were kind of splotchy. Right now, I'm not seeing that. Um, I'm not saying that they're not. I'm just saying I'm not seeing it. So, I've only tried one shade. Well, I think that made a really beautiful transition shade. I'm digging that. Okay, so I think next I'm gonna be going into this shade right here, and it looks like it's a sequin shade. Um, yeah, I can see in the monitor that, yeah. So I think I'm gonna be picking it up with my finger because I wanna keep as much of that kind of sequininess as possible. And I'm just gonna tap it on my outer corner. Oh no. Oh well. I guess we're going with a smoky bottom um, eye, which is fine. Okay, so even tapping it on with the finger, it did lose its kind of sequininess, but that's okay. We'll 
It's really pigmented though. And honestly, it looks like it was an overspray. So I was like, my finger has kind of dug into it. It does look like some of that sparkle went away, so it might have just been an overspray. I'll go ahead and pick up my pencil brush. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that shade just so I can start smoking out that lower lash line a little bit more so that way it's gonna look a little bit more cohesive and not as messy. It's, pr it's pigmented, it's so pigmented. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this kind of cranberry raspberry shade. And I'm gonna be popping that on the lid. It's not the most pigmented thing in the world, but that's okay. I grabbed my glitter glue, and I'm gonna see if that can kind of help. It's okay to, you know, have, try to give things a helping hand. It's totally okay, but. I'm gonna go ahead and pack on some of that glitter glue right on top. Okay, let's go ahead and retry this now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, much better. So you could definitely wet the brush. You could use a sticky primer like I'm using, and that totally oofed up that uh, color. That pigmentation. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip back into that kind of burgundy shade. I'm just gonna re-intensify that outer corner and just blend it a little bit better with that cranberry shade. I'm kind of tucking it into that crease. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into that um, peanut butter and jelly palette and I'm just picking up that light pink shade and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corner. So yeah, these eyeshadows, I think they would benefit from a good primer. So, but, um, I do think they're really, really pigmented. Um, it did a really beautiful quick eye look. So I do like them. I think they're really, really nice. Let's go ahead and go into the Cinnamon Sugar Bronzer. This one's a Makes me a little nervous just because it, it does look really dark. But let's, I'm just gonna swatch it. So yeah, it's got some good pigmentation. I'm gonna go in very lightly at first. And if I need to build it up, I can, but. It's a beautiful bronzer. weird. It smells a little bit like cinnamon. Do these smell? Yeah, this one smells like grape. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that they smelled. Okay. Yeah, this one smells a little bit like vanilla. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that they were scented. The chocolate caramel doesn't really smell very much, but yeah, this smells like, this does have a little bit of a cinnamon scent. Oh wow, that's cool. That's a really pretty bronzer. It is warm. I don't do a whole bunch of warm bronzers, but it blends easily and it's really pretty. Okay, I dig that. Okay, so the pink frosting. A little tiny bit of a scent. So that's cool. Okay, so you get two blush shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of dip into both, I think. Oh, they're kind of, they have a nice luminosity to them. That's beautiful. I wish they would show up on camera like they do in real life. That's beautiful. That really like oofed up the cheeks. Wow. It's really pretty. I dig that. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the highlight. 
I'm excited about this. It looks beautiful. Oh yeah, that's a pretty highlight. It's not powdery at all. It's really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up and pop on some mascara and some lipstick because those didn't come with the little donut tray, so I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with the iHeart Revolution donut tray. Um, it is cruelty free. Um, I really love the face products. The bronzer's beautiful, the highlight, the blush, really, really beautiful. The eyeshadow palettes are really nice too. Um, like I said, I would definitely recommend using like a sticky base, um, a glitter primer, uh, kind of damp concealer, but they're beautiful. They blended out great. They gave a very intense, smoky eye look. Um, I really, really love this. I This is my second product from iHeart Revolution. I did the, um, the 80s palette. This is beautiful. It's definitely a Monday must-have. Um, it's on sale right now, so I would, if you have a gift card, if you got some Christmas money, I would definitely recommend this. The packaging is adorable. I didn't even know they were scented, but really, really, really nice products. I, they're great. Um, I am more impressed with the face products, but the eyeshadow palettes, the little eyeshadow palettes are great too. So, um, I love this. I, I think it's, I think it did a really beautiful look. Um, very affordable, and um, I think it's great. So yes, I do think this is a Monday must-have. Um, it's super cute, and I am actually going to be keeping it in the packaging because I think the cats would absolutely love to bite into these foamy donuts, and um, I think these are great. I think it's definitely worth the money. I mean, I think everything just turned out beautiful and seamless, so I can't recommend these enough. They're great. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this week's Monday must-haves. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing you got from the holidays? I would love to know down below in the comments. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all about your glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.